So, what does giving a presentation as part of the recruitment process involve? Well, you might be asked to prepare a presentation in advance, which could be a topic of your choice, or could be asked to present your solution to a business problem related to the employer. Alternatively, you might be set an individual or group presentation on the day and given time to prepare. Usually, this is part of a case study exercise in which you are asked to present your conclusions or recommendations from the case study to the assessors and other candidates. What do good presenting skills look like then in the eyes of employers? For one, they'll want to see that you can communicate with clarity. Fortunately, there are things you can do in advance to help your presentation tick this box. A big part of it is understanding your audience and how you can appeal to it through the tone, content and style of your presentation. Just one example would be considering what your audience's knowledge level is like. You'll need to tread the tightrope of avoiding jargon that your listeners may not be familiar with while not offending or patronizing them by oversimplifying things. Once you know your audience, you can plan the content and structure of your presentation. Employers will appreciate a well-structured presentation with a strong beginning, middle and end. Ask yourself, what is the purpose of this presentation? What is your core point or argument? Having this clear in your mind will help you to keep your presentation focused, which employers will be looking out for. Don't try to cram in too much detail. A few points, well made, is best. Separating the need to know from the nice to know is a really valued ability in the workplace. Plus, remember what it feels like to listen to a speaker. Too much information and you begin to switch off. Recruiters are no different. Then there are the visual aids. These will entirely depend on the context, topic and length of your presentation. But, if appropriate, you will probably use slides to accompany you speaking. Less is more here. A clear heading and a couple of bullet points, chart or diagram per slide is plenty. The ability to distill all of your messaging into bite-sized take-home points is another hallmark of a strong presentation. Critically, your assessors will want to see that you are comfortable presenting to a group of people and can build rapport with them. This is typically demonstrated not through what you say, but how you say it. For example, common tips that we've heard from recruiters on presenting well are, if you're feeling nervous at the start of your presentation, it's better to take a moment and compose yourself than to rush in and get it over with. While it might feel like a bit of an awkward silence, employers will respect that you maintained your composure. Try to speak at a measured pace and volume. Less experienced presenters have a tendency to speed up as they talk. If you feel yourself starting to rush, pause and get yourself back on track. Again, employers will appreciate the courage it takes to keep your cool. Move however feels natural to you. You don't need to have the presence of a seasoned performer. Just make sure to avoid any body language that creates barriers or emphasizes your nerves, such as crossing your arms, fidgeting, slouching, or playing with an object such as jewelry or keys. Sometimes it can be hard to know your own quirks or nervous gestures, so you might want to ask somebody else to watch you present and point these out to you. Chances are you'll be presenting to more than one person, so try to engage your whole audience, for example, by sharing eye contact between different members of the group. This helps to build the rapport that your assessors are looking for. If you can get these fundamentals right, then you are putting yourself in a really strong position to impress recruiters with your presenting skills. Move on to the next part of this course to learn more.